Welcome to MacroCode. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. So today we are going to proceed with our video about linking .NET MAUI mobile app to our employees API. So we had created this API on our previous videos. So if you're new to this channel, consider watching some of our previous videos. Or well, now we are actually creating the application and we are going to link this to our, our API. So today we are going to test how our API works to ensure that everything works well before we actually start connecting our API to our .NET MAUI applications that we had created. So these are some of the, our, our endpoints. We have our database here. So we have our employees uh, database. So under constituencies, you see we don't have any data, countries. We have some countries that are there, then employees. We don't have any employee record uh, locations. We don't have any uh, location record. Then villages, we don't have any. Then uh, that is it. So we had created an employee record. You can see we have some records here. So if you come to our, our app, so this is our app. So uh, we have this endpoint, get uh, API countries. So this will actually retrieve all the countries. We can, we can try to execute it then we should be able to get all the countries. As you can see, we have the countries, uh, country code, the name, the date created, created by, modified uh, on and modified by. So this is a list of our countries. So we can actually update some of these uh, data. So you can see we have Kenya, Kenya. So this is actually repeated. So we can actually update. So we have this endpoint for put. So what we need to do, we'll try, then we provide the ID. So this is our ID, ID2. We can update the second uh, country. Then the modified by, we can say this is a ma macro code. So we need to fill in some data so that we can be able to, to, use it, to use it. So we have a macro code. So the ID is two. The name, we should say UG. Then we can say this is Uganda. Then if we execute, we expect our record to be uh, to actually uh, be updated. So if we try to execute this, you can see we have our uh, second ID, UG, Uganda, then uh, as a Zambia. So we can add, uh, we can add some countries. So come to our, our country sections, then we have this endpoint for post. So we can add another country. So we can leave these dates as it is. Then country are uh, created by, you can say macro code. Then you can say modified by macro code. Then uh, ID, you can leave it. Then this will automatically be generated by the, uh, by the application. So code, we can say SO. Then we can have these as Somalia. Then we can execute. It will actually return the ID that has been uh, generated. You can see this is the record that has been generated. So we can uh, try to add SA. We can say this is South Africa. We can execute. You can see that is it has added that. You can also say uh, which other one can we add? RW. You can say this is Rwanda. So this is our API that we are going to use it to uh, test our linkage between uh, .NET MAUI and uh, uh, this API. So we have added some of our countries. So if you come to get, we can actually execute and we'll be able to see we have a list of countries. You can see this is the list of countries that we have. So the next thing that we need to do, we can add the constituencies. So we can add the constituency. So we have the post. So the constituency, you actually, if we try this, we should actually uh, leave this. We can say this is macro code. We can also have this as macro code. So you can actually do this also on Postman. So if you want to do that on Postman, you can also uh, actually do that. So you can comment down below if you want to see how we can test the, this API uh, on Postman. And we'll actually appreciate. So uh, th that is... Uh, so this under the country ID, we should actually provide the country ID. We link our constituencies with the ID. So we'll actually provide some of these IDs. So we can say the ID is one. 
then we can say this is uh, Nairobi so we can call this Nairobi so this is the code we can say Nai so Nai so you can actually provide your own your own data so na sorry Nairobi so this is our capital city guys so if we execute that it will actually save this the data so if we come to our our constituencies eh? so these are not actually the real constituencies but i'm using this as a test data so you can see it as a link of our country so you can add some constituencies you can say this is uh then this is mombasa mombasa then if we execute you are able to get our constituency here so you can do this also using postman if you are okay with that so i'll also put in for a uh, country number three we'll say this is mumbai and put this as mumbai uh, then execute so that is it so for our to get the constituencies i'll just now execute our get method so try then execute you can see we have our constituencies list here so these records are coming from our database now we want to do a very interesting thing whereby we are going to now use the api to push the data to this api uh, i mean we are going to use the app to push the data to this api so you can see the locations uh we can add also the location we can say post we can try then we'll say this is macro code then this is macro code then you can have the constituency id as one then we'll say this is nai then you can say this is naivasha so these are not the real locations so i'm using this as a test data but you can actually uh use whatever you have so i'll say this is eld then i'll say this is eldoret so if i execute i'll have my record here so the same thing to our sub locations i'll post some records to our sub locations i'll say this is macro code this is macro code then our location id I can have it as one then i'll say this is ko then i'll say this is chorus so if i execute i also change the id to two i'll say this is ma you can say this is maridadi and execute so we have these records so the next thing is our village i'll also do some post some records with the village i'll say macro code then this is a macro code then i can say the sub location id is one I will say this is uh, TA, then I'll call this Tausi. Tausi. So if I execute, it is actually it has actually saved our village. So I can also do another sub location. I'll say this is KO. Then I'll say this is Congolo. Then I'll say execute. So if we come to our database. We will be able to see under constituencies we have some records under countries we will be having some records we don't have only the records for employees then uh locations we have some records uh sub locations sorry sub locations we have some records then villages we also have some records so on our next video now we are going to link this api to our mobile app and we are going to use refit so if you are new to this channel consider subscribing watch our previous videos comment down below in case you have any suggestions and see you in our next video bye